This video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. Uh, I'm an entertainer. I'm sorry if it's a little dark. I shut the light off because me and my wife, we have our feet up on the recliner. She's not feeling the best. She's coughing a little bit. But um, a she has a headache. I just you, wanted to... You, you're giving me a headache. I'm giving her a headache. You don't I don't stop. I don't feel good, and, and you keep making video after video. You have no respect, really. Okay, but I just wanted to ask you something. Say it, that's what I'm saying. A lot of the uh, apes think that Ape Island is a tremendously great idea. And a lot of my haters in the apes think it's the dumbest idea that they ever heard. What do you feel? What do I feel? What do you feel about Ape Island? It's just, it's just like, to me, it's just like, like a dream it's like an imaginary thing <laughs> you know yeah but when we have the moaz it could become a reality I mean, how, anything could come true but it's like you know people are like oh how can you let him talk about a island a mansion uh, girls because it, it's it's just it's it's not real it's it's and if you want to do it go run Oh. Well, how would you feel if I had a pool and there were girls no. that were in, like, say, bikini underwears and, no. you know, and they were serving us drinks in the pool? Would that bother you? No. You'd be a little jealous, no? No. No, have fun. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to put my life. I just don't care. I just don't care. Leave me alone. My wife's at a point where if I became, let's just say, one day like, a successful if, if person. Go and, and with all that, fine, go. Like, she, I don't care. She doesn't care. Like, I'll be, a, like, I'll be traveling all around the country doing shows, partying. I just want to be quiet. I just want to be peaceful. That's all. She'll That's just all. keep all the money. Yeah. She'll keep the house. She'll put her feet up. And she'll say, you get lost, you fat, disgusting, <laughs> mama Luke, right. coconut, stew not. She'll say, get lost, okay, okay. Go, go have fun. Go, go do me a favor. Go, 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 uh, go make yourself a, a cream, no. cream soda. Go make yourself a salami and cheese sandwich. Go on your effort tour bus and get lost, you fat piece of garbage. Go. Goodbye. That's what she says to me. I, mean, I just want to be quiet. Would I you miss quiet, me? Oh, my God. If I mean, honestly, if I never had if I never had to hear that, this is not financial advice. This is not this financial is advice. I am not a financial <laughs> advisor. Ape I'm an entertainer. Oh my god. The one. I, I mean, heavy. The only ape father. Wow! Yeah. In the house. That Can you try good. to do a monkey sound one time? Me? Just do this though. Wow! Yeah, <laughs> <Dead monkey. laughs> That's how like someone that was getting physically sick. That's how I feel right there. That's not like a sick monkey. <laughs> oh man. So you know that they call AMC Amy? This is and I, and everybody was mad at me because I didn't know that they call that that's the that's How the slang term for AMC Amy. How can you not know that? I don't know. And, and how come I'm the one who figured it out first? Well, I guess it was you and Lord X Nemesis. But how, but I'm the one. And, and Actually, Lord X Nemesis kind of said, "Richie, are you that stupid no, that no, you no. don't know that we call AMC Amy?" I guess I am. But you, yeah. you didn't even know what movie it was from. No, no, no. I don't think it has anything to do with Congo. Yeah, it does. Congo. Well, the monkey in Congo was named Amy. Yeah, the gorilla, yeah. It was a talking gorilla. And you love that movie. I do love that I movie. I like that movie. And I figured it out. I, can I ask you a question in all honesty and fairness? Do you like me better if I shave my whole body? Or do you... How do you feel about, like, all the hair? No, seriously. Like, how do you... Because I know a lot of people get very sick. They see me in a bathtub. I have hair all over my all over my neck, all over my back, all over my chest. Is that a turn on to you? Yeah, because I'm a big animal lover. So, like, you think of me like a bear, right? <laughs> like, like that. that's what the turn on is, is that you... Because you're an animal lover. You feel like you're making love to a bear. Oh. You know, sometimes when we make love, I make actual like, oh my God. I make monkey sounds, like I, like as I'm into it, <laughs> I get into I'm like this, and, and she she really gets into it. You're sick, but you really need help. <laughs> no, you really need help, seriously. She loves it.
Don't let it cage you. Oh, I'm like Tarzan and she's like uh, Jane. I can't even, I can't even eat because it's so nauseous. She's got a cough today, the poor girl. She's got a congestion. And you won't even leave me alone. Got, she got congestion. And you keep making this video. You don't even let me I got the stuff for you. I got the Mucinex upstairs. Yeah, but it's like I can't even take it because it's like... I got the, the, the throat spray. I got cough drops. I only just won't let me... I got it. some uh, Benadryl. Yeah, I wish I could take all of it. Take all of it. Go to sleep. She drugs herself. She goes right out. But I can't because I, I gotta wake up early. I do this. I gotta... My wife is a MILF. M I L F, right? Mother, I'd like to what? You're sick, Richie. You are a MILF. Listen, that's a compliment. You, you need help. Seriously, you really need it's, help. You're a con Listen, how would you like if I said that you weren't attractive? Would that be better? I don't care. You know when you have a good marriage, no, seriously. The, 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 that's the difference. Can I tell you, you, do you know how you have a good marriage when care. after you're with someone for 17 years and you could still... 17 years? I know you 20 I'm, But I'm talking about we're married for so, 17 years. I know you 23 years. <clears throat> but you know someone for 23 years, you're married for 17, and she still turns you on. Oh, my God. And she still gets you very aroused. I was really sick. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know why, you have a good marriage. Why are you talking about this? Story? No, because men get sick of their wives. You know, after a year, they're like, "That's it, man. I'm done. I'm out. I want new meat." Well, that's true. Yeah. But the fact that I'm staying with you all these years and you satisfy me and you make me oh, happy, yeah, I'm complimenting you. I'm not, I'm not trying to make you sick. <sighs> but let, let me ask you a question because I have a lot of hair on my nipples. So there are times that you know she gets a little down and dirty. And she licks my nipples, my wife. Yeah. Now, the question is, does that make you physically sick when that hair gets in your tongue? You know, I'm not, I'm not even going to respond because it's, like, so stupid and immature <laughs> that I'm not even going to respond. But do you prefer... I'm, I'm asking you, I'll shave my whole body tonight. Would you prefer me to be shaved or not shaved? That's what I'm asking you. Honestly, I should be asking that question, but I won't. I don't care. I'm going to point my life. I don't care. Either way. See, like, it's kind of like women you can't have hair. Like, I'll tell you a funny story. This is going to make you laugh. Before I was married with my wife, a very good friend of mine, now she knows about this already, my friend John from Brooklyn. Oh now, what happened was we, we were living in Brooklyn at the time. We met these girls in Jersey. Now, this, again, I, was, I didn't know Jennifer at this point. I was single. Now, the girl liked me, this Italian girl, you know, really good-looking girl. And she wanted to, you know, don't get upset, Jennifer. She wanted, what's that thing what's called, my, my wife just say, she wants to hook up. She wants to hook up with me. Hook up means she wants to make out with you, right? Yeah, I always thought hook like, up. Why is that such a, like a, I don't know, it's like, it's like you've never heard of it. Well, I thought hook up meant like you go in the distance, you oh. know what I mean? Hook up apparently meant in Staten Island, this was the term, hook up, that you make out with someone. So anyway... The girl wanted to hook up with me, but she says, I can't be with you by yourself. I don't know you. I don't trust you. So I, so, so I said, well, what, what's the solution? She goes, I have a friend. You have a friend. My friend John was with me. We were at Club Abyss, remember in Sayville? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. So I was at Club Abyss. This again, before I met my wife. Oh, God. So my friend John says, all right, whatever, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll hook up with uh, your friend. <laughs> Your your girlfriend's friend. Let's just get this. Up. Let's just get this going. So whatever you know, we're in. Um, you know, John's in his car with this girl, and I'm in my car. Don't get upset, John. Nothing happened. We just made out, right? So we made out. My friend's making out, but my friend starts getting a little. Uh, I think I know the story. A little hand friendly. You understand? He starts feeling up the. You know. You know what I mean? The the breast. You know. That's what I'm saying. Listen, chicken breast. Okay. Why are you talking like this? Here's the thing. Crazy. He goes down to suck on her nipples. Richie. But just listen to me. The girl's got hair on her nipples like a gorilla. Like a gorilla. Worse than me. Now, my friend, let me explain to you something. This guy is one of the toughest guys in Brooklyn. Like, I literally saw this guy one time. He saw, he's a nut job. To prove how tough he was, he stuck like, uh, you know those like nails? What were those things? The dumb, dumb tacks. He stuck thumb tacks in his friggin' by his bowls, you know, the strotum. He's banging them in there. I always say that name wrong. Is it strotum? I don't know what you mean. 
Anyway, he has elephant-sized balls, my friend. We, you know, he flaps them back and forth. He has it's, it's a medical condition. Wait, why are you well, I'm just saying his balls are very big. So he put the skin of his balls, the scrotum, on the table, and he started slamming thumbtacks just to prove for how tough he is, how much pain he can take. But let me tell you what he can't take. He couldn't take the hair with that girl's nipples. He threw up like three or four. Th- I literally had to take him to the emergency room. He got physically, physically sick. And he says, you see how much I love you, what I'll do for you? But that's why I'm asking my wife. I don't know if she gets physically sick. Because I have hair on my nipples. She's not answering me. Do you get physically sick when those hairs enter your mouth? Yeah, I don't think I've done anything like that in like 20 years. All right. I mean, seriously. These are questions that you need to ask your girlfriends, apes. But you I need... do have to say, I do have a story. Uh, there was one time that your friend John there, he took you into Manhattan and right. got your whole body waxed. Yes. And I remember you came home, and I remember your body, your skin was glowing. And I said to myself, damn, I was like, I need to do that, because your skin looked fantastic. Let me just tell you a quick story. So what happened was, (laughs) I had hair all over me, like I haven't shaved my body in over a year. So it was out of the movie, uh, 40-Year-Old Virgin, Uh, uh, how do you say that? Virgin, 40-Year-Old Virgin. So what happened was I'm out there, I take all my clothes off. The Chinese woman who's the, the the woman doing the wax job, she says, we need more wax. I swear to you, it's just like the movie. We need maybe three, four buckets of wax. So whatever. My, my friend videotaped the whole thing. I think he might have lost, I don't know. You got to ask my buddy, John. He he kept that with him for years. Like he he literally one time, I think that there was some kind of a fire at his bar. And he actually went in to get his phone, almost almost died because he wanted to get his phone that had this footage yeah, of me getting a it. wax. You should get it. Upload it. I'm going to ask him if he still has it. We'll upload it. But you might get physically sick because my balls, everything, ass is hanging out. I don't, I don't even know if YouTube will, will allow it. I'll ask my friend tonight if he still has the footage. So we're in there. And she's, oh man, she had such pleasure. She was giving me pain. She's ripping that hair off my back, off my nipples. The nipples was a lot of pain. The belly button. She gave me the bikini wax, right, you know, right behind, you know. You know what I mean? The credit card swipe, you know. Wah! So I'm like screaming. She go, you little bitch, ape father. <laughs> well, actually, then I wasn't the ape father. But she said, Richie, you bitch, dicky boy, you bitch. So she's just having a ball, ripping hairs off off me. So now what happens at the end, it was something like uh, $600, right? So my friend, you know, he goes like this to me. He goes, hey, Rich, you look great. He goes, run. Just like that. I said, what? What are you talking about? Run. (laughs) He didn't want to pay. I'm like, come on. See, that's one thing about me. I'll never do that. So I, you know. Whatever he had two hundred on him, I laid out the four hundred. He wanted to treat me. He didn't realize it was going to be six hundred dollars, so I wound up laying out like the majority of it. But anyway, long story short, I did look mighty sexy with all that hair off my body. I think my wife prefers me with no hair. But anyway, I'll leave you off with that. Okay, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I'm an entertainer, the one and only ape father, rec- relaxing on the recliner. Wow, AMC and GameStop to Pluto.